Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about Resto Shamans. This is going to be a pre-raid best in slot list for Resto Shamans. This will be a list that will get you into Karazhan. It's not going to be like your epic crafted gear that costs thousands of gold and takes weeks to farm. This is just going to be a down to earth, get into Karazhan in the first two weeks kind of guide. It's going to be mainly quest gear, dungeon gear, and stuff that doesn't require heroic keys ideally but sometimes we do end up needing some heroic gear but most of the time i'm gonna give you some normal options so like when you first hit 70 you can grab this and then later on you could try to upgrade to this um so yeah it's just kind of a basic gearing guide all right so let's get right into it all right so looking at the helm slot the hallowed crown is by and large the best helm that you're gonna get and this comes from normal Architraz, so it's going to be a pretty easy farm. Um, that's really it for helmets. Uh, the other ones aren't as good, and you'll have to run heroics and stuff. Uh, honestly, this helm is slightly better than the White Men helm, which is an epic helm that's crafted. So this helm is just super good and normal Architraz. And that's all there really is to say about helmets. All right, so looking at next, we have a very similar situation. This Natasha's Guardian Cord comes from the Houndmaster, which is a Blade's Edge Mountain Quest. So this is going to be super easy to get, and it's much better than a lot of the other neck options. So definitely knock out the Houndmaster Quest in Blade's Edge Mountain and grab the Natasha's Guardian Cord, because that'll be the neck to go with. All right, so shoulders. So for shoulders, we've got Vestia's Pauldrons of Inner Grace, which come from Mechanar. So this will be an easy pickup for shoulders. Um, the one other option you have is the Primal Mooncloth shoulders, but they're expensive and it's tailoring. But if you want to go for an upgrade after you grab your uh, Bestia's Pauldrons of Inner Grace, then your next one's going to be Primal Mooncloth shoulders. So yeah. Alright, so that's it for shoulders, and now we're going to move on to the back piece. Alright, so for Cloak, it looks like we have a lot of options, but it's actually pretty simple. So for Alliance, you have the Mantle of Vivification, which is a quest in Hellfire Citadel. And that's going to be an easy pickup there. But if you're Horde, it's going to be Vicar's Cloak, which is also a quest in Hellfire Citadel. Yeah, so the Mantle of Vivification is going to come from Turning the Tide. That's what the quest is called. And then the Horde version is the Will of the Warchief. And these are both Hellfire Citadel quests. Your next upgrade from there is going to be a BOE World Drop called the Life-Giving Cloak. But yeah, you're gonna grab this uh, this blue from Hellfire and that'll get you into Kara, honestly, and you can go from there. But if you do have a lot of money laying around, then the life-giving cloak would be the way to go. All right, so chests. For chests, we have a couple of options. So we have this Void Slayer's tunic that comes from the quest Demensis the All Devourer in Netherstorm. And this will be a pretty easy pickup and it's a pretty good chest piece. Um, another option is this Earth piece breastplate but this is a blacksmithing boe so you might be able to buy it for decently cheap after you go and grab uh the void slayer's tunic then you can look at this as a slight upgrade if you get the money for it and then the primal Mooncloth robe is going to be your best chess piece but again that costs a lot of money and you'll be able to get that later so yeah this is pretty cool that this comes from a quest in netherstorm and it'll be a pretty easy pickup so that's about it for chests let's move on to bracers all right so bracers are pretty simple um, these Primal Surge Bracers are pretty much it. They're super good, and they drop off of Aeonis, who's the last boss of Black Morass. So just run Black Morass a lot and grab these Bracers, and you'll be ready to go. All right, so for gloves, there are a bunch of gloves, but the best option I've seen is the Prismatic Mittens of Mending. They come from Botanica. So as much as I don't like running Botanica, these would be a really good pickup. They're the best gloves you're going to get pre-raid. And it's normal, so you don't even have to get exalted with anybody. Yeah, so that's about it for gloves. Now we're going to move on to belts. All right, so the belt situation isn't great, to be honest. The sleeper's cord here is not a bad belt by any means, but there are a bunch of other options when it comes to belts that are all better. Like, on this list, the sleeper's cord is the worst, but this is a leatherworking BOP. This comes from a heroic. Court of Belief comes from a heroic. The lifeblood belt, which is a leatherworking BOE, is probably a good contender, um, but you can just run Architraz and get the other one and not really worry about it. Um, there's Heroic Mana Tombs, uh, with the Stillwater, Stillwater Girdle, which is slightly better as well. And then, of course, the Primal Mooncloth Belt is the best. But you're really going to have to pick which Heroic you want to run or which Leatherworking piece you want to make or buy. Um, outside of that, the Sleeper's Cord is what you're going to go with. So I would get that when I get 70 and start looking into these other options. 
So that's about it for belts. It's not a great situation. It's not something like the helm where the best one drops out of a normal and it's just easy to go get. But that is a place where you can start with the sleeper's cord. All right, so pants. The pants situation is pretty nice, actually. So these hallowed trousers from Set the Calls are really good. Um, they're the best thing you're going to get short of epics. So it's kind of nice. You just run Set the Calls normal and grab these, and then you're ready to go into Kara. Um, I will mention the white men pants, which are significantly better, but again, they're a BOE epic and they're going to be expensive to craft, but at any rate, yeah. So the hollow trousers, definitely the way to go. Set the calls. So yeah, let's move on to boots. All right. So these jeweled boots of sanctification are definitely the way to go. They're significantly better than the other options and they come from normal shattered halls. So these are definitely a good pickup and I would grab the jeweled boots of sanctification. All right, so rings. So when you first hit 70, you wanna farm mech to get this cosmic life band ring. And then the celestial jewel ring comes from a quest called hitting the mother load in Netherstorm. So mechanar for cosmic life band and then hitting the mother load in Netherstorm for celestial jewel ring. And those will be your first pickups. And then if you're Alliance, you can go get revered with honor hold to get this ring of convalescence. Or if you're Horde, you can get revered with Thralmar and get this Ancestral Band. And then you would want to replace the Celestial Jewel Ring, which is the weaker of these two rings, with um, one of these once you get revered. So the one other ring I would mention would be the Band of the Crystalline Void. This does require you getting the key for the lower city, so you'll have to run Shadow Labs a lot. But it is the next upgrade you're going to get. So this ring sitting beside your Kara ring is probably what you're going to have for a while. So that seems like a pretty good setup. So I'd start getting that lower city key and then run heroic mana tombs to grab this band of the crystalline void. So to recap on rings, you're going to want a cosmic life band from mech. You're going to want to get the celestial jewel ring from the quest in netherstorm. Then you're going to want to get revered with honor hold or thralmar to grab your upgrade over the celestial jewel ring. And then you're going to grab the key for Lower City and run Heroic Mana Tombs to get the Band of the Crystalline Void and put that beside your Karazhan ring once you start running Kara. So that's it for rings. Um, I know there's a lot going on there, but um, it does look like a pretty good situation as far as rings go, and you have a lot of options and flexibility. All right, so for trinkets, I've got the Bangle of Endless Blessings, which comes out of Botanica. Um, it's a really good trinket, and it comes out of normal Botanica, so it's very farmable. And then the second one would be the Lower City Prayer Book, which does require getting a revered with the Lower City. There's a bunch of other trinket options, but I think these two are really the best. You could run Black Morass and get the Scarab of Infinite Cycle from Aonos, but then you're going to replace it with one of these two. And if you go Alchemy, you could get the Alchemist Stone. Um, there's also Ziri's Gift if you get revered with the Shatar first before Lower City. So that's another option. Um, so there's a bunch of options here. Uh, when you're first leveling, I would grab this uh, from Overlord or Cruel Intentions, depending on Horde or Alliance. Um, the Vengeance of the Illidari. So that's a good trinket to get started. But again, the Bangle of Endless Blessing from Botanica and the Lower City Prayer Book from Lower City Revered are going to be your best two trinkets. So those are the ones I would work for. Okay, as far as staves go, um, the Epoch Mender is a really good staff that comes from Black Morass. But if you do get revered with Scryer, the Seer's Cane is slightly better. But I would go with the Apoch Mender. After I get 70, just run some Black Morass, and, and this will be a really good pickup. Okay, for me personally, I would go with the two-handed staff. But if you do want to go with the one-hander and the offhand, um, the Ceremonial Chris is a really great pickup, and it comes from Veritas Must Be Stopped, which is a Shadow Moon Valley quest, so it's going to be super easy to get. And then... For your offhand options to pair with it, um, the Lamp of Peaceful Radiance comes from Architraz, and this is a really good pickup. And slightly better than that would be the Crystal Pulse Shield, but this is a BOE world drop, so it's going to be more expensive. So I would definitely go with the Lamp of Peaceful Repose and the Ceremonial Chris as my main hand offhand option. And then if I can afford the Crystal Pulse Shield, I would go with that. But personally, I would be using a staff. All right, so that about covers it for Resto gear. Shamans are really great in the Burning Crusade, and I know if you choose to go with a Resto Shaman, you're going to really enjoy it. Chain Heal is just such an awesome ability, and it's very appreciated in a raid setting. I hope this helps you get geared up to go to Karazhan. If you wouldn't mind subbing, it would really help the channel out. All right, but yeah, that's about it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.